Hey guys, Barry here, Epic Cycles. In today's video, I will be doing a complete overview and review, simple review of the Kingsong N10 scooter. It's a entry level scooter, but uh, don't get confused. This entry level scooter gives you a great bang for your buck uh, with plenty of power and a lot of range. Um, the scooter itself is a very simple, minimal, minimalistic design and uh, has pretty much everything you need to get around. I had the pleasure of riding the scooter around uh, the city for a little bit, and I was very impressed with how smooth it was actually, and, act and how fast it is. So, uh, very good scooter. Uh, let's do a quick uh, overview of all the componentry here and what you get for this scooter. Uh, so first off, okay, so the scooter has two 10 inch by two inch tires. There is no suspension in the front. However, you do have a nice rebound suspension in the rear. That's going to give you some nice uh, ride, as you can see. Uh, has a very nice uh, long deck. Not too wide, but, you know, it's good, it's good enough anyways. For me, it was uh, not a problem. Uh, the motor, it's actually a very powerful rear, rear motor. We got a 600-watt motor right here which will allow for a top speed of uh, a little bit above 40 kilometers per hour. And it, it accelerates actually really quickly, which I, I found really nice and most importantly, very smooth. So yeah, I recommend this, uh, you give this scooter a try for sure. If you're looking for a budget friendly scooter, this, this is it. It also has a very nice battery, which I mentioned before too. We have a 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery. so almost a 15 amp hour battery. A 697 watt hour, which will give you a range, an impressive range of close to 60 kilometers, 60 kilometers in range. Yeah. Uh, you can see here as well in the cockpit, very minimalistic design as well. Nice uh, ergonomic grips where you can rest, easy push, push down throttle, and you have your brakes here as well. Nice digital display. I'll actually go through the display real quickly as well. So basically, when you first open the scooter, you're going to see here your battery indicator as well as your speedometer now to change your gear settings what you're going to want to do is actually double tap the power button so everything is done through here and it depends on how many times you tap it so one tap will turn on the lights so you have the front light front headlight is on plus the rear tail light is on now when the lights are off the brake lights always work which i'll show you so now the lights are off and I'll squeeze the brake. Here's a brake light. So that's always working. If we tap this power button twice, this is going to change your gear. So let's try that. One, two, that's P4. Okay. I'll go through the P settings actually. So it goes from P1 to P4. So P1 is your first gear, which will allow you uh, by the factory default, it's set to about 20 kilometers an hour of speed, uh, but you can actually uh, adjust that through your app to what whatever you want. I'll, I'll go through the app momentarily as well, how to do all these fine tune adjustments. We'll double tap again. We got P2. P2 is your second gear, and this will allow up to 30 kilometers an hour of speed by default. Again, it can be changed. And then P3, you tap twice again. P3 is your third gear, which is your fastest gear on the scooter. Uh, and typically it's set to the fastest speed available on the scooter, which is about 40 kilometers per hour. Sometimes you get a little bit, a little bit extra. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that. And you notice P4, there is a P4 setting. So P4 is not really like your fourth gear, your fastest gear. P4 is walk mode. So walk mode, I'll show you here. We'll give you a maximum speed of six kilometers. This is the max. So if you want to walk up your, walk your scooter up a hill, you can do that. And as you can see, when you're in walk mode, what's going to happen is your rear light the brake light will be flashing to indicate that you are in walk mode. So it's not going to go faster than six kilometers per hour. All right. Um, actually, I can quickly demonstrate the speeds for you while we're here. So here's P1. I'm going to raise, raise the scooter so it doesn't fly off on us. So here's P1 where we can see top speed about 20 kilometers. Now let's get the P2. 30 kilometers as i mentioned double tap it again p3 
46 kilometers per hour. Now, probably when you're, you know, going uphill or on the scooter, it'll be a little bit less. All right, so that's that demonstration. Um, scooter comes with the front and rear fenders, kickstand, of course, as well, and has a very easy uh, fold design. I'll quickly demonstrate how to fold the scooter. So there's a latch at the front. You're just going to simply push this button in, pull that down, and then you have a lever here. This lever goes into the scooter's deck, and away you go. Like I said, very, very easy, compact. You can move it up, you know, take it with you anywhere. It's not too heavy. So if you're looking for a quick portable scooter that has some speed and as well range, this is, this is pretty much, like I said before, best bang for your buck. All right, let's see that. Very simple. Fold and unfold within seconds. And I don't know if the camera can see here, but here's the suspension that I was mentioning as well before. And the battery, of course, is inside our deck. Yeah, so that pretty much sums up everything about the scooter. We discussed the motor, power, speed, battery, range, minimalistic design, how to fold it, how to go through the display settings, throttle. Got a cute little bell over here. And now I'm gonna show you how to operate the app on this scooter. So let me just pull up my phone here. I'm gonna record the screen and it's gonna show you on the side in just a second. So let's go to our King Song app. We are connect I am already connected to the scooter. So here we'll see on the main dashboard, you have a few buttons. This is horn. This is actually a horn, not very impressive, but you know, a little beep. This lock, we can lock the scooter. So now it's in lock mode. What happens in lock mode is actually the controllers, uh, something happens with them where they make it very difficult to turn the scooter. It kind of holds the tire, the, the br almost like the brakes are on. I guess the electronic brakes are probably on. Plus you have a little alarm going on as you can hear that right now. So now I'm gonna unlock it, unlock. Next one's night lights, actually your lights. So once I hit lights, the lights should turn on. There we go. And it's uh, extremely responsive. We have uh, power off, I'm not gonna do that now. But also as you can see when you move the scooter, your kilometers per hour, how fast you're going is also shown. So if you have a phone out holder, you can also use this as a speedometer. Um, you can set a, yeah. okay, we can also set a vehicle password here. So if you want to have a password to turn it on, you can do that through this section. All right, moving on next screen, we have all our details. So it shows your battery life. Uh, so here it's, you can see almost a fully charged scooter here, 95%. With remaining mileage of about 61 kilometers, which we said the range is about 60 kilometers, so that makes sense with 95% battery life. Um, your max speed, we showed you before, hit like 46 kilometers, average speed, uh, energy, run, single run time, total run time, and uh, current voltage, max current power, and the temperatures of the motor and the main board. The next screen shows you a little graph. Uh, which shows you your, you know, uh, charts and graphs of your speed, consumption, energy consumption, mainboard temp, motor temp, voltage, current, same, same stuff as the other stuff. All right, next, you can go to more settings by going, clicking on the gear icon. So here you have your device info, which tells you which firmware you're running, the serial number of your scooter, uh, battery capacity, which we mentioned before, 697 watt hour, uh, product warranty information and diagnostics. Here is another area, same thing as before on the main dashboard where you can set up a vehicle password and firmware update. And here's, here's, this is a good one, gear adjustment. So gear adjustment, this allows you to set, remember we went through P1, P2, P3, how fast you want uh, each gear to be. So if you want to say P1, you want it a little bit slower, you can do it at, you know, 15 
just be because I changed it. P2, you can do it, say if you want it faster at 38 to 35, whatever you want, or some, some people just go P1 to the max speed. They don't, they don't care. But, you know, that's totally up to you. But typically, I would put P3 at the max speed, P2 somewhere in the middle. You know what, just the way they have it, used typically is going to be the best, the way it's set up by the default. But you, your scooter, you guys decide what, how, how you want it. Uh, over here, you have cruise control. So, this, so it has a cruise control. And uh, you can set this as well for how many, basically how many seconds when you're running, when the cruise control will start. Right now we have zero, so it's off. All right. Uh, sliding start. So right now sliding start sets to zero, so that means instantaneous power as soon as you touch the throttle at zero kilometers. That's why it's moving right now. But as soon as we change this, if you want to make it a kick start, so we could put this to two, one second or two second one, two second, let's say. Now it's not. Now it shouldn't go, but it is. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I'm on cruise control. Yeah, that's why. We go back to zero. Sliding start. Back to sliding start. Zero, it's going. As soon as I put it to one kilometer per hour or two kilometers per hour, it's instant. See? It does not go. Zero goes. Anything above? One instantly the app works instantly so it's uh, really cool how intuitive and how fast it works i love the apps on these scooters are great uh, here we have brake strength adjustment so how powerful your electronic braking will be right now it's set to 80 if you want it a little bit stronger you can set it higher if you want it a little bit lower you could do it lower and as well as the throttle acceleration adjustment so yeah that pretty much goes through uh through the app if you uh, have any questions about this, uh, comment below. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, visit our website at epiccycles.ca. You can purchase this amazing product. We've got a killer deal on it right now. And always, um, other than that, guys, wishing you an epic day or night. Peace.